Who would you want as a fan to sit on the Iron Throne? Brienne of Tarth. Absolutely. Has to be. No hesitation. No hesitation. Is Brienne of Tarth the MVP of Game of Thrones? Podrick sure thinks she is. The Fierce Fighter from the Sapphire Isle had such a satisfying moment in Game of Thrones' latest episode that over on Nerdist.com we're calling her MVP. But why stop at just the episode? We thought this was an appropriate time to express our appreciation for her as one of the standout characters of the entire show. And Torment, could you do that more quietly, buddy? But viewer beware, White Walkers aren't the only one invading the North. We've got incoming spoilers from episode two of season eight. So if you haven't seen it yet, now's the time to take a load off and take a breather until we're done here. Neil, Lady Brienne. Brienne's big moment came when Jaime Lannister, erstwhile Knight of the King's Guard, still a knight though, officially knighted her in the Great Hall at Winterfell just in time to defend the North from the Night King and his army of ice zombies. This was such a special scene because we finally see possibly the most pure-hearted character on the show get something she truly wants. Arise, Brienne of Tarth, a knight of the Seven Kingdoms. And Brienne has no more fiercest supporter than her squire, Podrick Payne. We spoke with Daniel Portman, who plays Podrick at the season eight premiere in New York, and he made his best pitch for Sir Brienne to rule the entire realm. Nobody, well, nobody's gonna f with her. For starters, she's fair, she has a very strong moral compass, people respect her, and uh, yeah, and she's a woman. Women always make better leaders than men. And that also means I'd probably be hand to the hand to the queen, you know, so perfect. And all of this is set against the backdrop of what will undoubtedly be the most brutal fight Westeros has ever seen, where Brienne will be joined on the battlefield by Jamie and Pod. Everybody's as valuable as one another when it comes to numbers, you know what I mean? And when it comes to the impending danger of life or death, good versus evil, whatever you want to call it, everybody counts. But is Podrick ready for the vicious fight for Winterfell? He's more ready than people think he is. I think people kind of assume that he's, he's dumb and he doesn't know what he's doing, but he's got a few things up his sleeve. And what he does have is a lot of heart and commitment, you know, he, he never turned his back on anybody. His loyalties lie to Brienne and to Tyrion, to the people, not to the houses. The people that have been good to him and the people that have looked after him and taught him, that's where his loyalties lie, not, not to allegiances to houses or anything like that. But what do you think? Is Brienne the MVP of Game of Thrones? How will Podrick factor into the war to come? Let's discuss. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and share this video. And until the next time you meet some work friends for drinks and somebody makes it super weird. Remember to join us at Nerdist.com. Maybe I will have that drink.